Hello! I went to an estate sale and I bought this box full of art supplies for five bucks and let's see what's in there. I hope there's lots of nice supplies and lots of little treasures that's worth more than five bucks. If not, well, that's okay. So let's see what we have in here. It's quite a few things. We'll start with this brush that's kind of falling apart, so I think we'll just trash it right away. Then we have a professional artist natural ocean sponge, which was bought at Ben Franklin. Don't think there are any Ben Franklins in my area, but yeah, it was bought 49 cents. But it looks like an old sticker, so I don't know. I don't know how much those cost yet. So I'll once I'm done with this, I'll go online and and see the price of all those things and see if it was worth five dollars or not. I've got a pack of two eyedroppers, brand new, not open, just like the sponge. Get another natural sponge that was used, or no, I think maybe it comes from this. This is. If you can see it, this is coming apart. So I think that's all it is. Yeah. Ugh. I'll just have to uh, rinse it. Okay, looks like there's a bunch of brushes. Oh my goodness. Uh, this looks like a makeup brush contour. But it could be good for maybe powder graphite, pastels or something. It's a little, it's not very very soft a little it's a little stiff so we'll see all right we've got I think oh, quite a few of these we got three four I think Windsor Newton brushes they're not all the same we've got uh, all different series um, there's two series 631 and then and then the others are series 136 um, they look pretty soft I'm not sure what they are but I'll have to look them up although this one here is uh, in a pretty bad shape but the others look nice Then we have a Dick Blick brush. It's very, oh my gosh, yeah, it's very, very stiff. I don't know what it was used for, but it was not well rinsed. A couple of uh, Groombacker Golden Edge brushes. These look brand new. They're really soft too. Okay, we've got a brand new kneaded eraser. We've got some Miskit, liquid fresh kit that is useless. So I'm going to throw that away as well. Get some more erasers. Hard gum, fun mentals, oh, fundam fundamentals. I don't know. I think I need to clean them up, but they they still feel good, like they can be used, but they're really dirty. I think that's because of this stupid brush. Anyway, oh, there's another another one, magic rub. I don't think this one has ever been used. Oh, there's another brush here by Grumbacker. 
get some exacto exacto knife blades. It's an assortment of all different shapes. I'll be able to use these when I do scratch board. Nice. Oh, and then there is an exacto knife as well. Very, very nice. The blade looks nice, but I don't know. But it's the holder, at least. Got some pencils, a Faber Castell design drawing 3800. It's an HB covered in that brush thing again. And then a turquoise. Uh, it's not turquoise inside though. I think it's the um, described by the color of the barrel, but I think it's just regular graphite. It's a 2H. And some more brushes here. There's some hair there, so I think some of those brushes probably lose their hairs. Royal, so some are just more like cheaper sets. Eyeshadow. <laughs> Royal. Low and Cornwall, I think. Was. Royal. Royal and Low and Cornell. Cornell, sorry. Mixtic. Hmm. Anyway, they're like cheaper type of brushes. And we have some paint. So we've got a Winsor Newton Cerulean Blue. Still squishy. That's the artist. Uh, color that's a professional type and it looks like all the others are Grumbacher and they're the um, Academy line so probably their student line but Grumbacher I, th I think that even their student line is really good I think there's quite a few of them I mean for being old tubes like this. Well, there's an old blade that I'm not even going to bother taking out. So even for tubes like these that, that are probably a few years old, they are $2.60 for a tube of 7.5 milliliter, milliliter. So uh, that would mean that like a regular 14 or 15 mil tube would be at least five bucks um, but I think these days it's probably more than this I have to look it up and what do we have oh, here's a bunch uh, hookers green ultramarine blue lamp black alizarin crimson Paints gray and they're all nice and soft still. Raw sienna and just when I say they're nice and soft, this one is a bit hard, but I can always cut the tube open and and use it, re wet it. Raw sienna. Well, there's two of them. This one is harder than this one. And then we have a cadmium red light. Gamboge U and Davies Gray. So besides this one, there's no hues. They're all regular colors. So probably pretty good quality. So for five bucks, I get all of this here, which to me seems to cost way more than five dollars. I mean, just this tube here that cost back then $13.85. It's really good quality. Um, this is already worth the money. So I need to make a total of this, all of this here, and see how much all this cost. 
But right now I can tell that I definitely got my money's worth and I'm really, really happy with my little loot. Look at me using split screens. How fancy. It's not perfect, but I'm trying. I was able to find the price for the majority of the supplies, but for the random brushes, I really couldn't find anything, so I just gave a random number for the lot. I tried the watercolors and a couple of the brushes, and I must say I really like the Groombacker Academy paint. It seems to be pretty nice quality for student grade paint. I used a straighten out paper clip to store the paint in the Winter Newton tube because the binder had separated a little bit, but other than that, the color was nice with uh, some of the other tubes and that one as well because they're so old. Uh, I had a hard time opening them, so I used pliers to unscrew the caps. Three tubes were totally dried out, but I cut them open and was able to just use the paint from there. It's just like when you pour a tube from a paint into a half pan, for instance. Eventually, the paint will dry, but you can just re-wet it. So, in a tube that's dried out, I know it's not ideal, but you can just cut it open and use it just like you use a half pan. All in all, it was a super sweet deal. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.